Hi folks, Dave Cormier here. I've self-identified as an open educator ever since I first saw the word on Alec Kuros' website. The word makes sense to me, that feeling makes sense to me, but over the last 12 years I spent a lot of time trying to figure out exactly what that word means in an educational context. And I've come up with three basic paths that seem <clears throat> to make sense to me and seem to exist inside the field. First one I want to talk about is open, as in open education. So when open education started in the United Kingdom, it was a question of widening participation. The quality of openness that was involved in that version of open was opening up higher education, further education, so that more people could access it. People coming back from the war, people who traditionally didn't have access to further education could get in. They could get started. They could themselves participate in the wider discourse inside of their culture. So it's opening it up so that more people can get in. The second version of open is open as an open source. This is a legal distinction. It's about the ways in which we put licenses on top of actual objects that are used in education so that other people can use them. So we have a publishing industry that has copyright licenses, which means there are restricted ways we can reuse specific pieces of printed or video resources. Um, and these new resources, these new licenses, um, apply different kinds of rules and allow people to use the stuff that one person creates in many more open ways. So it's open as in being able to get access to things. The third version of open is what I think of as Dewey's open. So 1907, can't the education system be more permeable to the outside world? Can't we bring more of ourselves to the education process? Why does it have to be so scripted? Why can't we have more flexibility inside the process? That's the particular version of open that, that I'm attached to. And I'm not saying there aren't permeable ways in which those three overlap, but that version of open, open as in learning, open as in syllabus, open as in teaching, the student-centered, real student-centered education is the version of open that gets me up in the morning, that makes me excited. Uh, I see the value of the other two, for sure, for sure. I mean, it's great to have access to resources. Uh, it's great and, and really important for us to open up the education system for as many different kinds of people as possible. But that open learning piece, that place where openness becomes... Uh, an acceptance of the total student allows those students to create their own literacies for learning uh, where they're not driving towards a specific resource that's been given to them or a pathway that's been created by somebody else. But they learn fundamentally that learning is something that comes from you. It's a pathway you have to create for yourself. Uh, and it's a journey that you continue to get better and better at as you go along.